Assalamu alaikum, this is Abdullah Mahmood. My ID is 17135-1920. In this presentation, we will be talking about entire cycle with example. First of all, we need to know what is uh, instruction. And instruction cycle sometimes called fetch and execute cycle, fetch, decode, execute cycle or FDX is the basic operation cycle of a computer. It is the process by which a computer detects a program instruction from its memory determines what action the instruction requires and carries out of those actions. This cycle is repeatedly continuously by the central processing unit CPU from bottom up to when the computer is shut down. So this is the flowchart for instruction cycle and uh, uh, as you can see if it is 00, zero uh, that means uh, this is fetch cycle if it is 01 uh, this is indirect cycle. If it is one zero, that means it's good cycle. If it is one one, uh, this is interrupt cycle. So uh, we here assumed a new two bit processor called instruction cycle code ICC. So the instruction cycle code uh, uh, ICC uh, designate the state of processor in terms of uh, which portion of the cycle it is, it is in. At the end of the each cycle, the ICC is set appropriately. The above flowchart of instruction cycle describes the complete sequence of micro operation depending only the instruction sequence and the interrupt pattern. This is a simplified example. The operation of the processor is described as the performance of a sequence of micro operation. First of all, we need to know the fetch cycle. At the beginning of the fetch cycle, the address of the next instruction to be executed is in the program counter. So here we need to follow some step. So what will be my first step? So in the first step, the address in the program counter is uh, moved to the memory address register. As you can see, uh, this the sum value is in the memory address register, as uh, this is the only register which is connected to the address lines of the system bus. Now we need to jump in the step two. The address in the memory address register is placed on the address bus. Now the control unit issues a read command on the control bus and the result appears on the data bus and is then copied into the memory buffer register. Here as you can see uh, program counter PC uh, uh, here as you can see the value of PC the last value of PC was 0 and uh, now as you can see the last value of PC uh, uh, has, been increted, uh, in, uh, has been incremented by uh, 1. So so now we need to jump into the step 3. So the content of MBR, uh, this is the content of MBR, uh, is moved to the instruction, uh, inst instruction register. So the content of, uh, this is the content of uh, MBR and uh, this has been uh, moved to the uh, IR, uh, which is called instruction register. So that's a simple fetch cycle consists of 3 uh, steps and 4 micro operations. Uh, symbolically, we can write uh, this uh, sequence of event as follows. Here, uh, you can see uh, this i. i is the instruction length and the notation t1, t2, the notation t1, t2 and t3 represent successive time units. We assume that a clock is available for timing purpose and it emits regularly space clock pulse. Each clock pulse defines a time unit. Thus, all units are equal duration. Each micro operation can be performed within the time of single time unit. So, uh, uh, this is the first uh, step here as you can see. Uh, this is called first time unit. Uh, move to the contents of the PC to MAR. This is uh, second time unit. So, in this uh, second time unit, move contents of memory location specified by memory address register to memory buffer register and the increment content of PC by 1. So uh, let's take a uh, let's take a circle uh, let's take a pen. So uh, here the PC the value of PC uh, has been incremented by 1. Okay so now this is the uh, third uh, third term unit uh, move the content of MBR to IR. So uh, the content of MBR the content has been uh, move to the IR. Here there is a note. Second and third micro operation both take and both take place during the second time unit. 
so now we need to jump into the interact cycle so uh, once an instruction once an instruction is fetched the next step is fetch source operand source operand is being fetched by indirect addressing it can be fetched by address in mode here it is done by indirect addressing register based operands need not to be uh, fetched once the op code is executed a similar process may be need to store the result in main memory uh, here we need to follow uh, some step uh, uh, here this is the uh, step one the address the address field of the instruction is transferred to memory address register here as you can see the address field uh, the value has been transferred to this okay so now uh, uh, step two uh, what is the uh, meaning of step step two the address of uh, ir the address of ir the address of ir is updated from mbr so that uh, it now contains a direct addressing rather than indirect addressing so now we need to jump into the uh, execute cycle uh, the the other cycle fetch indirect and interrupt are simple and predictable each of them requires simple small and fixed sequence of micro operation in in each case same micro operation are repeated each time around execute cycle is different from them like uh, for a machine with n different op uh, of course uh, there are n different sequence of micro operation that can occur uh, let's take an hypothetical example consider uh, here uh, consider and uh, add instruction uh, add rx uh, here uh, this instruction add contains the location of x here this instruction add contains the location of x to register r okay so corresponding micro operation will be here like this uh, here we have you can see we have a three step uh, we uh, we begin with the uh, containing uh, the add instruction so uh, what is the uh, first uh, step here the first step here is the address portion the address portion of ir is loaded into the mir this is the first step and what is the second step here so the memory yes, here something related with memory as you can see the address of, the address field of the ir is updated from mbs so the reference memory is location uh, reference memory location is read here memory to uh, memory address uh, or uh, memory buffer register as you can see uh, this is memory to memory buffer register okay so uh, as you can see uh, this is the third step what is the third step and now uh, contents of r this is the contents of r and mbr and mbr are added by uh, arithmetic logic unit we need to jump into the entire cycle at the completion of execute cycle uh, a test is made to determine whether any enable interrupt has occurred or not if an enabled interrupt has occurred then interrupt cycle occurs the nature of cycle varies greatly from one machine to another let's take a sequence of micro operation here as you can see there are uh, three operation here uh, pc to mbr that means contents of pc is transferred to mbr so that that can be saved for return here uh, what is the step uh, uh, what is step two here uh, here as you can see memory address a uh, register is loaded with the address at which the contents of pc are to be saved that means save address okay okay and uh, uh, at the step 3 memory buffer register uh, memory buffer register mbr uh, containing the old value of pc is stored in the memory is stored in the memory in step 2, two actions are implemented as one micro operation. However, most processors provide multiple types of interrupts. It may take one or uh, more micro operation uh, to obtain the uh, save the address and uh, routine address before they are transferred to the memory address register and PC respectively. So, thank you very much for uh, staying with me. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Thanks a lot.